challenge is called is the string uppercase. Your task, create an extension method is uppercase to see whether the string is all caps. For example, lowercase c is uppercase, uh, returns false, clearly it's lowercase. But notice that when we use an upper, the result is true. And so we've got some examples with mixed and matched. They return false because there are some characters that are not uppercase. Consider the follow-up example as true because every single character is uppercase. But notice that it includes spaces. And then finally, we have a bunch of gibberish. Notice there's one lowercase g in here, though, so that kind of spoils the whole thing, so to speak, returns false. Then you've got the same gibberish, all caps, returns true. In this kata, a string is said to be in all caps whenever it does not contain any lowercase letter. So any string containing no letters at all is trivially considered to be in all caps. So that's sort of the definition. Um, it's a pr pretty loose one in, in my opinion. I mean, this would include number characters then, punctuation is all good. Um, so it's just referring to the letters that are present in the string. And maybe, you know, maybe that's okay that that's what you're going for. So we'll head over. Your hint is that I will use another link method that I've used in the past. But go ahead and pause this, have a go, and then resume. So I already hinted that I'll be using link. I'll go ahead and bring that library in now. And then notice from the instructions, they said this was an extension method. And so that's why we get this weird thing here going on. Remember when we used to read the document pages a lot, we would see parameters where the first parameter, especially in the link methods, it had this keyword preceding the parameter. And we talked about this, this is characteristic of an extension method. And what it means is that you can essentially call this is uppercase method directly from a string. And you can kind of see that happening in the tests down below. They have strings in here, uh, which would represent, would be filling the text field here. And then on text, they're just saying is uppercase. So, uh, normally, if we were going to access a method from a class, right, in this case, a static one, we would have to say string extensions, the name of the class, right, in the case of a static class and method, and then invoke the method we wanted to run. But in this case, if you have a string object, you know, you can call the method directly from it, you know. That's the thing there. So we'll go ahead and implement this. Text, I'm going to use the all method from link. And if you recall, that will check every element in the collection. String is a collection of chars or characters. So this all method will go over each of those chars one at a time. And then remember we pass it a lambda function that represents a predicate. A predicate is something that returns true or false, a condition. So we can say, I usually use ch for char for short. Could use letter, but you know, we have white space in here. Not everything that's coming through is necessarily going to be a letter. So I'm not going to call my variable letter. Uh, first things first, I think I will check whether the character is even a letter at all. And I don't know if we've done this. We probably have before, but in case we haven't, went over to the docs page and we found the char class in the system namespace. So we'll have to bring that in. But it has this handy is letter method. And so you can pass it like they have here, ch, right, a char. And notice it returns false because it contains eight. But in sample string, you got a true because these are all letters. So that'll be handy for us. I can then say, before I get ahead of myself, let's do this. 
using system, then I can invoke this. I can access this char class is letter. So let me check if we're even dealing with a letter, right? And I'm going to use this ternary operator here because if it's a letter, I want to check if it's uppercase. Otherwise, I'm just going to sort of say, sure, it's true. It passes the this predicate. We'll just let, if it's not a letter, just let it pass the check. So if it is a letter, we need to make sure that it's uppercase. And as you may have guessed, like we have is letter, there's is lower. If you scroll down a little bit, we have is upper. And we can use that. Go ahead and read about that if you'd like but it will do what you think it does. So if char is letter, we can say then uh, char is upper, right? Otherwise, I'm just gonna say, just automatically return true. So all together, yeah, check if each character one at a time is a letter, if it is, return whether it's uppercase or not. This upper, I'm sorry, is upper returns a Boolean. And then otherwise, say you're dealing with one of these space characters, just say true. So it doesn't break the check for all. And then we can return that. That will all return a Boolean. Can go ahead and test this. And it looks good. So yeah, hopefully you remembered all. And these is upper is letters probably a refresher. If not, then you know know about that. I'll go ahead and submit this. We got our nice one liner. And yeah, there you have it. Oh, sure. I forgot the, um, we did more work, more typing than, than was necessary, but I forgot the string class itself has this two upper method. So, um, turn value to upper. Yeah. So you're just kind of comparing that, creating an uppercase version of it and checking if they're equal. It's a lot simpler way of doing it. You know, imagine this as being sort of generating a new string here. And then you'd want to make sure it matches exactly with that. And yeah, I'm sure the two upper knows to ignore spaces and numbers and punctuation. So um, it's sort of another way of thinking it of it like we did. Instead of all, they went with any and they just used not any, which is kind of like a negation of what we did. And they're just making sure not any is lower. And you know, that, that reads very nicely. So same idea, just kind of thinking from the other way. Another, again, using string to upper. So yeah, I like that one. I, I should have used this one, but it's all good. Many ways to skin a cat, right? So. Yeah, feel free to share what you came up with. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.